Hi friends, welcome to Shell Scripting Course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see what is conditional statement in Shell Scripting and types of conditional statements. Let me go with the first concept that is what is conditional statement. See basically in any language we are having these are like uh, conditional statements if, if, else, if, else, if, else and even nested ifs. They are all called conditional statements. Then what is that condition and why we are calling this as conditional statements? See here I am going to explain about this condition right, with an example. Suppose I want to write uh, some information to my something, some file, information to some file demo.txt file. Then you can write by opening that file using VA editor or simply you can also follow this rule, right? Echo some information, then you can redirect to your output, output to your file, right? Then you can able to write that information to this file, right? Let me go to my command line. Then there I will explain how to write this file first. Then we will see the different. See, suppose I'm having here demo.txt file. Before that, suppose if you want to write some file, this is a info from echo statement. This I want to write into some file, whatever it may be. Initially, I am taking suppose new.txt file. Now it has been created, and so that uh, what is the information in that? So this is the info from echo statement. Now, again, if you want to write some more information, right? Again, you can execute that. Now, see information. Now you are having two lines. So double greater than will append the information at the end of your file. Only single greater than will overwrite your information. Okay. Now the same process I am going to work with demo.txt file. Some demo.txt file. If it is there, it will be added that information at the end of your existing file. If it is not there, it will create a new demo.txt file. See here you are able to get that uh, some error that is permission denied. See, whenever if you are writing some information to your file, you should have some permissions, right permissions, right? But without checking that, if you do some action on that file, writing action, then definitely you will get some error. Now, instead of getting that error, before going to write my information into your file, if I can able to check the whether I am having permissions or not. If I am having some permission, then only I will write. Otherwise, simply I will skip that. Now checking the, suppose, checking the permissions, whether you are having right permission on that file or not, that is called condition. And that condition can be checked with the help of if or if else or if else if else with those conditional statements. So simply, I will go with if condition. If will is to check the some condition. That condition may be anything. Suppose as of now we are going to take whether you are having right permission or not on that file. If you are having, then you will write something. If you are not having, then simply skip that step. Right? Suppose you are going to check some two numbers, right, which is greater, which is lesser. So that is a condition. So based on your requirement, you can make anything as a condition. Right? Suppose now, in order to overcome this error, right, in order to overcome this error, I am going to write simple script write script dot sh suppose write script dot sh so here i am including my shebang line then see before going to write your uh, information into file you have to check the condition whether you are having write permission or not if you are having write permission then only you have to write now for that syntax is if suppose write permission should have on my file demo.txt then don't worry about syntax and everything we will discuss about that so simply i am writing you are having right permissions 
so that information i want to redirect to demo.txt then this one this is the syntax now what will happen means first of all whenever if you run your program it will run from top to bottom right then first line is this bin bash right then second thing second line is here this is a expression whatever you are having here that is an expression this is expression this expression resultant may be true or false you are not sure suppose on this file if you are having write permission this resultant would be true if you are not having write permission on this file then this resultant would be false now you have to write some expression here that expression should be either true or false if it is true then under this if this is the statement this is syntax if then fi is the syntax for if if then fi is the syntax for if if this condition is true then if allow to execute this statement not only one statement you can write any number of statements here if you are not having permission then simply if will skip this step whatever the number of steps you are having under this if those steps will be skip so as of now we know that there is no execution permission sorry write permission on this file that's why this step will not be executed by your if now let me write this script uh, save this one i am going to save it and before going to run you should have execution permission for that what is that right yeah now i am going to execute that so you are not getting anything okay now go and check sorry demo.txt file information nothing is there okay so even if you open your demo.txt you are not having anything but if you try to write something see here changing a read only file means there is no option to write if you try to save that i am going to save it see read only option is set that means you don't have write permission on this now let me observe that this is my demo.txt file and here you don't have write permission for user let me add that permissions change mode plus write for demo.txt okay now first observe your file information sorry you don't have any info in that file and this is your script if i run sorry if i run the script what will happen first shebang line will be executed then if this permission will be checked first of all whether you are having the right permission on this file or not if you are having then this is true if this expression resultant is true then your if condition then your if condition will execute this statement if it is executed then you should have information on this demo.txt so this is the demo let me modify that inside even though if you don't modify no problem because it will create a new file but we are going to check on demo.txt okay now because as of now we change the write permission we have given write permission for the, for the user on this file now you are having write permission for this file now this expression resultant is true if it is true then your if condition will execute this statement if it is executed then on this file now as of now your file is we just now we change the right so demo.txt in this information will be appended to this file okay now let me first once again i am seeing the information on demo.txt as of now we don't have any information on demo.txt now i am going to write uh, run our script now observe your information you are having right permission actually we appended that information to this file right you are having information this file not only this action you can simply write some echo command also let me open that so instead of writing some information 
I am going to add one more line. We can write any number of lines. Echo. You are having the right permissions permission on demo.txt file. So when these two lines will be executed means remember that when these two lines will be executed if this condition is true then only these two lines will be executed otherwise simply they won't execute simply they will go to next line as of now you don't have any lines in your program then it will stop here itself now i am going to execute that once again and observe your output see now you are getting your information okay why you are getting information means you are having writing permission on your file demo.txt so you are having write permission now i am going to change it once again i am removing that write permission for the user on this demo.txt file now i am going to execute our script so previously if you execute your script you are getting some output now you are not getting anything why because let me open your script once again and i will tell you see on this file now you don't have write permission actually this is the expression to check uh, you are having it either uh, write permissions or not you don't worry about that expression so as of now you don't have write permission on this file that's why this is false if this is false then if condition won't allow to execute its statements these two are the statement they won't be executed you can write any number of statements here so that is the purpose of if condition but if you use simply if condition in this case there is no use because if you don't have permission you have to say that information also you don't have permission now for that simply you can modify like this see else so here you can write echo you don't have permissions to write that's it now what will happen in case if you don't have write permission this is false if this is false then else block will be executed in else again you have any number of statements okay so if this is true only this block will be executed in case if this condition is false this block will be executed but remember that any one of the block will be executed based on this condition if it is true right if it is true these two if it is false this condition or uh, this statement or in case if we are having multiple number of statements all will be executed under else so else block will be executed only if this condition is false and if block this is called if block if block will be executed only if this condition is true that's it now i am going to save it so now i am going to write run our script observe that you don't have write permissions to write right suppose now this is our checking file yes we know we don't have write permission for user that's why you are getting this information suppose if i change that for user i am giving write permission on this file now i am going to run once again our script then what will happen observe the output you are having write permissions on demo.txt previously you got you don't have permissions now you are having permissions because just now we changed this condition you are checking through if so let me explain finally how you your if condition is working so simply if this expression is true these two statements if this expression is false this statement or you can also write any number of statements here that statement will be executed that's it so guys that is how about uh, how to use conditional statements okay now you are having different types of conditional statements very simple one is only if condition if some expression then and here you have to write statements any number of statements you can write first statement second statement third statement fourth statement any number of statements you can write then finally you have to wind up with that if condition with the fi okay only this block is called if block 
if this expression is true then only it will be executed otherwise simply these all steps will be skipped in your program so remember that if this is true then only these statements will be executed otherwise simply that will be skipped with simple if condition but sometimes it's an, it's not, uh, not sufficient to use in a program whenever if it is required you can use only if but you can also use if else so here condition is uh, syntax is same if some expression then if block you have to write like this you can write any number of statements here suppose one statement or any number of statements then this is about if then else so instead of winding with the fi write first else under this again write some statements then wind up with fi so start with fi end with fi so that one if condition is over start with fi end with fi so that your if else condition is over okay, because you are having else else block but else is optional so that's why here you are having else in previous case you don't have else for this if condition only you are adding else block but else is optional if it is required you can use it otherwise simply neglect it then how it will work first this expression will be evaluated in case if it is true then these statements will be executed and this will be skipped suppose if this is false then these statements will be skipped these statements will be executed that's it okay and remember that in either of these two blocks always any one of the block will be executed true this block false this block that's it so this is about simple if and if else block and generally in if conditions in order to make your expression either true or false here you have to write some expression that should be either true or output i mean the output of that expression may be true or may be a false so what type of expression expressions you can use here okay let me go with that so we can use relations operators or relationship operators or comparison operators like greater than less than equal not equal then file operator file operators nothing but to check the some properties on files uh, write uh, readable file writable file execution uh, executable file it is a directory or it is a file okay those type of operations are there so if you are able to know how to use uh, write these expressions here with the help of these operator then you are good with if conditions along with that these two operators you can also combine using i mean two relationship operators or two file operators so you can combine with uh, logical operators or boolean operators so we'll go with one by one so let me go with very first one suppose go with first i will go with the uh, file operators see some file is there in order to check whether that is a directory or not go with the hyphen d option hyphen d some file so that you can able to check whether that is a directory or not if it is a directory then you will get true if it is not a directory then it will give false likewise these all are the options okay let me go with very first one directory option how you can check it suppose you don't know something is there suppose i am going to create some so just now we created directory one okay with the help of make directory command we know that that is a directory but through programming through your scripting how you can validate that whether it is a directory or not okay see see same syntax you can write even in a command line also if expression you have to write what what is your requirement i have to check this directory one is directory or not so for that condition is iphone d your directory name so that what will happen if this directory is really directory if this name is really directory then it will give true value okay then your syntax is then then you have to write echo this is a directory why i am writing here this is a directory if this is true then this will be executed in case if it is not true write else block else echo that is not a directory so finally wind up with fi that's it so this is a directory because just now we created that so instead of that directory okay instead of that directory let me take some demo.txt file then what will happen 
demo.txt we know that demo.txt is a file if it is a file right if it is a here we are taking demo.txt if it is a file then this condition is false right this condition is false because we are checking for directory option if it is false then else block will be executed then what is your output this is not a directory you are getting that's it so for that purpose you are going to use this options okay now same way you are having uh, for logical operators some options like not and or or and now to combine two options you have to use and operator or operator and now to make condition resultant to true to false or false to true then you have to use not operator okay in later uh, classes later videos we will we will work with some scripts there effectively we can use this and you can understand that as of now remember that a is to combine uh, a and or sorry and or a means and o means or logical and logical or now to combine two conditions then you can take this then uh, relations operators relationship operators for numbers i mean integers especially for integers you can use this syntax number 1 equals number 2 means see hyphen eq not equal symbol if they are equal it will give true if they are not equal here they will give true less than greater than less than or equals greater than or equals same way for strings you are having some of the options just go through them whenever if it is required in our scripting then there we will take this uh, syntax and we will work out with that okay okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get notifications whenever we post some new videos okay bye